Good evening, everybody. How are you? Huh? How do you know? How do you know you are very good? How do you know you are very good? Huh? Feel happy. Okay, good. That's a good starting, you see. Can you drop your children? Can you drop your children, please? Yes, your mobile phones. You all hold a mobile phone. Drop it. You care more your mobile phone than your children. Isn't it? It's more precious than anything else. Uh, yesterday, my wife gave a speech in the same room. And I noticed 50% of the people all the time hold the telephone. Now, I ask you a question. Is healthy? Do you think it's healthy to hold anything with one hand? Anything, not the telephone. Do you think it's healthy? Yes or not? Yeah. But you do it. Then you complain that one day you don't feel good. That you have pain in the neck. You feel stiff. If you hold something in your hands 24 hours per day, at the end it will become all stiff. Yes or not? Now, when you feel pain, also your mood change. When you have pain, you no more friendly. Yes, if you have stomachache, if you have headache, if you have any pain in the body, this will affect your mood. Hmm. So now, uh, this evening I was thinking, what I will tell you? Shall I make difficult? And talk about difficult medical terms? What we discover in science? 
this morning, uh, a colleague sent me an article from USA. We discover something new to defeat cancer. But I did not read the articles. I'm not interested. This kind of news I heard already thousands of times. We find the medicines for defeat this disease and that disease. Yes. And why there is more people sick? Why sickness, illness is increasing? if we have all this science behind. So I decided that this lecture will be divided in two parts. Huh? So the first part I will tell you something that you can take it about science. That you can take it, you can. And the second part, I will tell some things that will change completely your perspective about health and disease. You know what is this? This is an animal cells. Something very simple. It should be very familiar to you. Because this is the foundations of every living animal. Actually, you are made about 60 trillions of cells all together. And this is what you are a huge colony of cells living together. The cells eat, breed, and excrete, like you. But they have some things that we start to discover and study right now. That is what keeps us alive. Is, is, is the battery. Is the battery. 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 Oh, battery. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's named mitochondria. Forget about it. It's this one. Oh, okay. uh, that's the battery. Now, when the battery does not work, everything starts to malfunction. And finally, disease starts. But I don't want to talk about disease. I want to let you understand who you are. And this is who you are. At the very top, we have the cells, that is the smallest parts in the human, in the animals, in the living animals. Cells create tissues. Tissues create organs. Organs create uh, organ systems, like digestive systems, respiratory systems and so on. And organ system finally create the organism. It can be a human being, but it can be also a tree, a dog. The structures is exactly the same. But there is another part that's missing here. 
but I will tell you later. Please keep in mind these triangles, OK? OK, this is also something important that we never consider. Now, the reason why we can stand is because we have a spine. And the spine is the column to which our limb are connected. And as you see, every single organ in your body, it is connected to your spine. In the spine, we have a special cable we call uh, spinal nerve. And every single vertebra have two small holes. And from these two small holes, the, nerve sp the spinal nerves goes to control each single organ. Whatever problems you have in the alignments of the spine will be reflected in the corresponding organs. And why I'm saying this? Because you sit a lot. And you all sit in the wrong posture. In the wrong postures. Yeah? crossing your legs. When you cross the legs, you twist the spine. And then you will have a backache. Yeah? But I will show you later how you become sick every single day sitting too much. Now we go at the beginning of what I say about uh, our new medicine discovery. In these simple diagrams, you can see something about how disease develops. So we take in considerations in the first part of the diagrams Eighty percent of the populations have twenty percent of the medical health cost. Because eighty percent of the populations is low level risk, medium risk, or high risk of having a disease. Having a disease. But then you see in the second part with the purple uh, disc, the 20% of the populations have chronic disease becoming later on 